I've been building electric bicycles and tricycles for about 12 years now. I've always used two torque arms, and I've never had a spin-out until recently. I was building an e-trike for my sister, and when I touched the throttle, the dropouts failed instantly, and the motor was dragged in front of the forks due to the torque of the motor. The flimsy, tapered forks also allowed the hose clamps to slide down toward the dropouts. <laughs> my axle nuts were not loose. The motor wires weren't damaged thanks to the double torque arms. Some hub motor builders encourage builders to mount torque arms in front of the forks. I now realize why I should put them behind the forks. I hope this video will prevent other people from making the same mistake. Green Technologies, ebikes.ca, introduced their universal torque arms in 2009. They explain on their internet page why they should be placed behind the forks. They eventually modified their torque arms because single hose clamps can break. But very similar torque arms have become pretty ubiquitous for Chinese e-bike kits. I decided to replace the destroyed forks from the tricycle with the most bulletproof steel forks that I could lay my hands on. My best bet among the used forks available at the bike shop were massive suspension forks. The dropouts were not quite 10 millimeter wide and had to be filed out. And in addition, the stem was a quarter inch shorter than the one on the original forks. When I finally slid the motor into the dropouts, I found out that there was not enough space for the motor, even if I put the lock washers inside the forks. I took the new forks to a machine shop where they squashed the side that was rubbing the motor about a half inch flatter with an enormous vise. They used a long steel stock for leverage. This process left some small bumps on the inside of the fork, which I filed off to allow the hose clamp to lay flat. I then mounted the torque arms on the back side of the forks. Finally, I had to deal with the quick release dropouts. I saw the pins off two torque washers and used them outside the dropouts. I, I tested the tricycle by writing it down to the nonprofit Reno Bike Project. They provide tools, used parts, and advice to people who want to repair their own bicycles or tricycles. I would like to thank them very much for all the help, bike parts, and encouragement I received there.